Wilhelm Maria Hubertus Leibel was a German portrait and rural life scene realism painter. Leibel was born in Cologne, where his father was the cathedral choir director. Before commencing his artistic studies with local painter Hermann Becker in 1861, he was a locksmith's apprentice. In 1864, he enrolled at the Munich Academy and afterwards studied with various painters, including Carl Theodor von Pilaty. In 1869, he established a group studio with Johann Spurl, Theodor Alt, and Rudolf Hirth du Fresne. Approximately during the same time, Gustav Courbet traveled to Munich to display his work, where his demonstrations of alla prima painting straight from nature had a lasting influence on many of the local painters. The topics in Leibel's paintings, which already expressed his appreciation for the Dutch old masters, were presented with thickly brushed paint against black backgrounds as his technique loosened. Following Courbet's advice, Leibel traveled to Paris in 1869, where he met Edouard Manet. However, he was obliged to return to Germany in 1870 due to the commencement of the Franco-Prussian War. In 1873, Leibel left Munich for the rural Bavarian countryside, where he portrayed the local peasants in settings devoid of pathos and narrative. The sketch-like nature of his previous paintings was replaced with a higher degree of clarity and drawing attention. Living in Burbling from 1878 to 1882, he painted perhaps his most famous piece, Three Women in Church, Kunsthalle, Hamburg. The precision of its very realistic manner recalls the work of Hans Holbein. In the years that followed, he relocated to Bad Abeling and then, in 1892, to Kutterling, as his paintings fused the controlled sketching style he had established in the 1880s with a new delicacy and brilliance. Leibel painted without a previous design, choosing instead to work immediately with color, a technique resembling Impressionism. In his lifetime, he was recognized as the prominent artist of the Leibel Kreis, Leibel Circle, a group that included Karl Schuck, Wilhelm Trubner, Otto Skolderer, and Hans Thoma, among others. In the first part of the 1870s, Leibel meticulously completed a series of 19 etchings. His charcoal drawings are composed of large volumes of light and shadow, as if he were painting with a brush. In 1898, he traveled to the Netherlands, and the following year, his work was featured in the Berlin Secession Show. He died in Würzburg in 1900.